On this week's boiler tip, we're going to look at the, some of the last things we do when we have a boiler inspection. So we've looked at the refractory, we've looked at the tube sheet, we've looked at the furnace. Um, when all said and done, we get the thumbs up, we've got to close this boiler back up. And what makes, uh, what's of most interest at this point is our rope and gasketing material. Now you may open a boiler and say, hey, this gasket looks good to me. Um, but what we have to remember is that the key to a good seal, a gas seal when we're using rope like this is compression. And so if we've got old gasket that's already been compressed, it's going to be really hard to get a good seal when we put it back together if we reuse that. Um, so basically, we don't reuse gasket material. Um, what we do want to look at is to verify that it was compressed. So when we open that up, we can see how much compression there was. And if we've got a lot of compression on one component and we have very little compression on another component, we might not have had that great of a seal there. So that's where we're gonna take a look and say, well, do we have the right size rope there? Do we need to go with a larger rope? Do we need to go with a thicker felt? Because we, to form a good gas seal, we've gotta have compression at every stage. So we need to get all the gasket material off and we need to put new gasket material on. The best idea is to just get a kit uh, from the manufacturer or a reputable vendor. But that said, boilers will get repaired, coated, different things will occur over the years and you may end up with a different size than the factory spec. Uh, it's more important to have a good seal and good compression than it is to technically have the right gasket.